Okay, so what I'm going to show you right now is how you can add the battery widget on the iPhone lock screen. You probably know how you can add it to the home screen like that with the widget. You know, it's pretty okay, but how can you add it to the lock screen? Like, how can you add it in here? And this is where it gets a little bit interesting because uh, it is like a completely different way. Anyways, you swipe down to get to the notification panel slash the uh, lock screen of course and what you do in here is to hold down on it anywhere and you get to the section where you can swipe through all of the wallpaper pairs so you can swipe to the right and create a new one if you want to but another option is just to customize the existing one so let's say i want to add it right here on this mountain wallpaper so i'm just going to click on customize and you're going to customize the home screen as well as lock screen in our case of course lock screen so click on that and here are a bunch of different things which appear like normal and stuff, but you don't really see anything in here. So this is kind of strange, right? You don't really have many options in here. So that's just basically how it works. And since I have the depth effect turned on, it's just not going to work, of course, because the depth effect is covering up the time. So if you have a wallpaper like this, the first option is, or the first thing you have to do is to disable the depth effect like this. So that's what you need to do. And at the bottom, under the, under the time, you can now see the add widgets, which didn't appear before. And once you click in here, you have some examples, just like when you add widgets to the home screen, which is fine. But scroll down a bit more, and here are the batteries. So I'm going to hit batteries, and you have a larger widget as well as a smaller widget. And you can either tap or gra uh, grab it and move it over there. So I'm just going to add this widget right here. It's just going to appear, and also the second one as well. So yeah, that's okay. I'm going to click on that. And yeah, I can add even more widgets in here. And um, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit in here. But if you tap on the widget in uh, the lock screen view, you can switch from the automatic selection of the device or choose a specific device that you have. So for example, in my case, it can be the mouse. Or if I had the AirPods, it could show me just the AirPods. So I don't have like double the iPhone but just that but yeah so i now when i just hit x and just get outside i'm gonna hit done and you can see that i now have the battery widget on the home screen now as you can see the first one which is the larger one it looks much better it tells me exactly the amount of percentage that it's charging it has this little graph there and this little circle it's not even colorful so it doesn't look that good i can barely see how much battery i have left the one on the right is like fully charged so it looks normal but yeah it's kind of hard to see it also depends on the background that you have behind it but yeah that's basically how you can do that besides that there are definitely some third-party apps as well which you can download for the widgets from the app store so you can look something up if you want but i'm showing you the official method and even if you have some third-party app the way to get them to work is going to be exactly the same so it doesn't really matter right so yeah that's how you need to go about it and before i say goodbye to you i need to show you this which is the fox tech educational platform i created it so you can join it for free and inside you can get access to a bunch of uh, video editing courses like in-depth iphone guides and many different things which you don't really find elsewhere so definitely join it right now and i will see you inside so yeah it's free to join link is in the description for now thanks a lot hit the thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you later in the future